Like, not, like, super challenging, but Jesus. I swear, I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. The tome would fetch a small fortune, that is true. And yet you did not for a moment consider the consequences. Say it is not so. In stealing that tome, you would steal from our students something more valuable than all the realm's riches. A grave crime, no matter who would perpetrate it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. Well, I mean, he's right. Thank you. Well, I'll be. You actually did crack the case of the stolen book. Indeed. That I did. And yet I fear this may not be the only volume our friend had purloined. <laughs> Russell has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes and revealed the names of his business associates. We need only track down the books and purchase them back. I'll speak to the guards and see that we redouble the security of the archives. What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Actually... Uh, from the far reaches of hell. No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends some, some two years back. See. So this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Yes. Right, as always, Professor. Pray tell me more about From the Far Reaches of Hell. According to our records, it would seem the compendium of ancient rites. Oh, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long lost magics. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it was the single oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Most intriguing. Oh ho! Yet another mystery it was seen. <laughs> Professor Albright, the headmaster, would speak with you at once. This awesome miss again? What could it be this time? Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. I have no interest in accolades, but if he insists... Yeah, it's never that simple, buddy. It's never that simple. We're probably gonna get reprimanded the hell out of for this. Large feather. Nice. I can already tell where this is going to go. How dare you set up a conspiracy to steal the book. Like my look, that's probably what's going to freaking happen to me. Is someone's going to have told on us and made it sound like some kind of conspiracy. Like we set this entire elaborate plan up to make it look like someone else stole the book. When really we just wanted an excuse to go look at it. Which is absurd. I already had permission. I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Yeah, gonna have to agree with you on this one. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? Huh. 
An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order! I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sullied. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing fieldwork in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. An enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess in some ways he kind of gets what he wants out of this, doesn't he? Professor! Oh, Therese, what is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Then you heard true. Professor, I'm... I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. Yeah. And yet... I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the Headmaster. Yes, but I... I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? 
Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. <laughs> my studies. Oh, Cyrus. I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet... Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Yes, if only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are. Oh, Cyrus, you... You are something special. Um, Professor? Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes? <sighs> Never mind. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will... will I ever see you again? I do not see why not. Provided we both still live. Well, that ends that ends this particular story to some degree. Oh, I took quite a beating in that fight, didn't I? Oh, but thankfully, it won't cost me anything to stay here. Yikes! My stats, Jesus! I'm a beast. from the far reaches of hell. My erstwhile colleague, Debt, knows more about arcane studies than anyone I know. Last I heard, she sojourned in Quarry Quest. I should begin my journey there. So Cyrus left the Academy behind, in search of the lost tome from the far reaches of hell. What secrets might its pages hold? Only the gods know. Well, that puts us with four people in our party. I apologize for this episode being so lengthy. That was not that was not my intention. I actually underestimated how long this episode would take. Well, boys and girls, with four people in our party, so four people in our party officially, that puts me in quite the situation.
so next time on Octopath Traveler, while we've put together our first party, the party we're currently in, we need to put together our other party. And uh, that's going to be something we're going to have to work on next time, I believe. Absolutely. Something we're going to have to work on next time. Although I probably won't be able to do the party thing like I like, because if I recall, I'm actually stuck having Hanit in my party no matter what I do. Which is a little bit of a shame, because I was kind of hoping I could switch them around and play along with the order a little bit. But turns out, I'm just going to have to keep her around. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, guys, next time on Octopath Traveler, we are halfway through meeting all these lovely, lovely characters. Next time, I think it's time to meet our fifth character. Stay tuned.